We're going to have a look at how to install Nucoda software today. Installation for Phoenix is identical, it's obviously just the name that changes. So firstly, make sure that you have a valid MAC address and that you have requested a license for the software that you will be running. Make sure that you have downloaded the installer and we are going to run the installer I'm just going to install the software. Installation takes place to the C drive and we always will have a Nucoda or a Phoenix directory after installation in the root of the C drive and in program files we will have the same over here. If we delete the Nucoda directory from program files and delete the Nucoda directory from the C drive that will remove Nucoda completely. As a default we prefer to use the S drive for caching and for high-speed access to material. And the D drive we use to store projects, thumbnails, presets, and so on. Now, if you do not have a D drive or an S drive, or you want to use a different uh, drive letter to store your material or to store your projects, I will show you how to do that as well. Once installation is completed, we will get the homepage for the documentation and for notes pertaining to the new installation. We've got a few extra icons and the first thing we're going to do is sort the license out. So I'm going to go to the C drive, go to new coder, license and you'll see the license file is empty. I'm just going to drag and drop and cut and paste my license into the new code and license and that will allow me to run the software so as my software license agreement I accept that I choose my user default and move on now you'll see because I don't have a D drive we're going to have a few uh, errors on new code starting up and that is because the configuration file that is now being created will be looking for the D drive. So what we're going to do there is go to the S, uh, sorry, go to the C drive, go to new coder version, and we will then go to all users, and we'll have a folder called general prefs. Now this will contain all the preset places for the files. There's also a whole lot of other presets in here which are accessible from the software itself. But if we go down the line, you'll see here we have media and we have the D drive. So I'm just going to change D. So I want to use the F drive. And so what I'm going to do is to change all the S to F. So it's my audio root directory, temporary root directory, thumbnails, notes, composition, and that's great. I'm going to save that and let's see if I get to go. Right, you'll notice that uh, the dialogues have disappeared and that we are now ready to start our first project.